Hey guys, this is Rahul and today we have this Asus Info Max Pro M1 with us and uh, what I did is snap a custom ROM on it. So why did I do it? It's because I love Android, I love new updates and when this bike came out I was like wow, I mean the animations were so good and the interface looks so like new and refreshed i was like i want this as fast as possible on my device so i had this asus zenfone uh, like the device for the rest of the video we will call this only asus zenfone because the device name is too long this is asus where i had this device and i was like searching the room for this devices the like the pi one and uh, this is the room which i found is the most stable room out there present and it's not like that this is the second or third build from the developers this is the first build from the aosp expand extended and it's is so stable that in the rest of the video i'm going to show you the how stable this room is and i'm going to talk about more about the features and uh, like what are the good things pros and cons and everything i will cover this in this video so watch it till the end and so this is the new swipe up to shortcut to home screen i'm gonna disappear this in for the rest of my video because i don't like this a lot i'm not a fan of this uh, like this gesture like swipe up to home screen and as you can see the animation looks so good and the apps are opening fast this is the recent app It actually looks more like like iOS. Like Steve Jobs used to say that Android is a copy of like iOS, and I seriously think that Android is a copy of iOS. So I'm gonna disable this swipe up on home button because I don't like this so much. I like this traditional way of using the multitasking and the back buttons. So this one looks cool and. The search toggle. So these toggles are obviously customizable and you can add or remove things whatever you want on your device on your notification bar and uh, if you press that power button you will get this all new option that's recovery boot or a safe reboot. This is a feature of the custom room and useful features which we get wherever we install a custom room. Uh, so you can directly go and you can see that the mobile data LT is working pretty fine voltage is also working so there's no problem with voltage and I used to make some call and the call quality was also good and phone is set to web it but this is what we got with Nougat so there's something nothing new here but this is a useful quick toggle that we get Pretty devices nothing new If we go into the extensions, you can see the status bar. Everything is customizable in this room, and you can customize the status bar, notification panel, navigation, recent lock screen systems. Everything you can customize. You just need to go into the settings, and boom, it will be done. And uh, let me show you the battery. So, and uh, if I don't know if you noticed or not, but while starting the video, the battery was at 33%. And before I started recording also the battery was at 33% and still the battery is at 33% voltage were on and the network like the 4G data is also on and uh, you can see the battery backup is really really good. So we get this double tap to wake up so, but sometimes it doesn't work so let me show you. It worked this time. It didn't work this time so sometimes it works or not means it needs some time like if you're locking like you're using a device and you just lock your device it needs one or two seconds if you lock your device and it means in, in instant you will double tap to wake it up it won't work like it needs some time and 
out so let me show you the new things uh storage is been, i can't comment on the storage because i actually installed some games and everything i already signed in with my google i also so i can comment on that but you get this zen motion so nobody will say that this is not a custom room from asus nobody can say that this isn't a original room because you are getting this zen motion so we're going to the about point of say asus zen to max my m1 everything looks like stockish one and so nothing much more new and uh, let me show you some battery battery saver is present battery manager wake up on charge so all that five features if you're family of it five This is the new one digital well-being that we get with Pi. Uh, I am not sure that we get this with Pi or that it's present for this custom home only or not. But you can clearly see it says how much you have used a particular app. Like it says PUBG and Clash of Clans are mostly used. PUBG is on red. So this is my brother's device. I don't play that PUBG a lot, but it can show you how much time you have wasted or used that application. Um, as usual we get that news one and you can see all the apps are in the background while we are doing that lightweight types of opening of apps i love i actually love this animation that you see whenever we open that any kind of apps like the icon starts becoming big 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 and it opens the app i just love this file seriously man So about the pros means I haven't got any kind of problem with this room like I don't have I means there are no bugs what comment on I mean, this is the most stable room that you can get and if you find any bug please tell me I will make sure to find a way to solve it and 40 update also available uh, I actually went into the system updates and searched for updates so it showed me a OT update like just like the stock room used to show means I didn't side loaded any update or something like that I just opened the update I just went to the system update and searched for the update and I got an update fixes for some file which is good but when I installed the update it went into the TWRP recovery mode and the update started installing so that's a nice thing that we are getting updates also for this room and if they produce any second build so surely i will make a video on it too and if you have any problem uh, regarding this room please comment in the session below i will surely help you and uh, thank you guys for watching and if you found anything useful on this video or learned something new please don't forget to forget to hit that like button and subscribe button for sure because i am aiming for the 1000 subscribers mark as soon as possible so yes, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.